Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zenata Consulting. In this tutorial, I'm gonna cover how to send batches inside Zoho campaigns for both a workflow and a solo campaign. And I'm gonna cover why in the beginning you might wanna consider for those of you that have larger mailing lists to send them in batches. Before I get started though, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump in. So before I get started with a tutorial, I'm going to cover three key factors on why you might want to consider using batch emails. And this doesn't just apply for those with massive email lists, such as 5, 10, 20,000 people they'd be sending emails to. And this could also apply to those of you that have less than 1,000 emails you're sending out. The first one does mainly apply to those larger lists, since email deliverability. Now, I always recommend running your list through some sort of email verification service, such as ClearOut. But if you're sending to 30,000 people at once or 10,000 people at once, you could get flagged for by an ESP or email service provider for spam. And you never want to be on that list. So a way to prevent this is by batching out your emails. The second reason is response time. If you're sending out 50,000 emails or whatever it may be, all of these people all at once responding, your sales team or whoever's in charge of replying to these emails or handling these potential sales, you might have opportunities missed because you have too much to manage coming in at once. And that could also be said for smaller lists. If you have a very tight, well-managed email list of under a thousand people, but you're expecting to have a high open and return rate on this email you're sending out, you might also want to consider using this for those smaller emails. And then lastly, testing and optimization. If you want to kind of use the first batch of emails that go out as a control group to see how they react and interact with your email, you can make adjustments on the fly to your live campaign to go ahead and edit and make changes so that the rest of the people receiving the same type of email, it can basically be tailored to meet their needs. So now that we've covered those three key factors, let's go ahead and jump into the two ways that you can do batch emails inside Zoho campaigns. So to do in a solo campaign, we simply go to email campaigns. And then I'll go ahead and I've got this draft here ready to go. And to send in batches, you can send it now if you want to send it immediately. And you can choose, you know, how many batches you want and the interval between whether it's one hour, three hours, or six hours. So six hours, you know, this would go over the course of two days. So if you had like a larger, you could send it even, even 10 batches at intervals of 360 minutes. And that will go ahead and split your list or segments into 10 batches that will space it out. If you wanted to send it later in the scheduled time, the same thing, send in batches and go ahead and send that out. So that's pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot there for your solo campaigns. But the tricky part that's not as clear is workflows. And for most cases, most of us are going to use workflows for those larger uh, drip campaigns for something like this. Let's go ahead and create a custom workflow real quick. And I will show you how to do this. For this example, let's say we have 10,000 uh, emails going out in this list. Within that list, we want to go ahead and basically send 2,500 a day, each the same email to enter into the chain. Let's go ahead and we'll put our email here. We'll say this is email one, and then we have email two here with maybe, you know, we'll say like a week delay in between the two. So we'll do some wait times here. And we have our, our basic workflow here. So now how do I get this list to split into 2,500 from the initial 10,000? So what we're gonna use is the flow control called random split. So we'll do 50-50 on this configuring. So 50% of this list will go here and 50% will go here. And we'll go ahead and use a random split two more times. So now I'm gonna have 5,000 in this bucket as we started with 10,000 here, 5,000 are gonna go here and 5,000 are gonna go here. So we will go ahead and connect these. And now these are also set up as 50-50. And if you wanted to, as I mentioned in the testing, 
you could even make the first one a little bit less, you know, maybe you wanted just to do 1000 here, you could go ahead and split it even further. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and start setting our wait times. So maybe I want all of these to be a day apart and this isn't the cleanest. I'll try to clean this up just a little bit. But now we have our wait times and here the first one can go out an hour after we send it out. The second one can be one day. All this and let's use a merge. And we'll make this one two days. Come on. And lastly, we'll set this for three days. There we go. And we'll merge it. So now we have every all our 10,000 people. 2,500 are going to get it an hour after they enter the list. The next uh, batch of 2,500 people are going to get it the day after. And then a day after that, another 2,500. And a day after that, another 2,500. So that is essentially, there isn't a whole lot to it. But like I said, this process isn't as clear. Um, but that is essentially how you can batch people on both a solo campaign and a workflow. And that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, short and sweet, but extremely useful and important because I would not wish on my worst enemy for you to wind up on a spam filter. It is a massive headache you do not want to deal with. Unless you're one of those 50 emails I get a day that's spam, then I hope you did not find this video. But if you did, still hit that like and subscribe button. And for everyone else, also please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps our channel grow. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments section. We do our best to answer them every single Wednesday on our show, Azaz, which we answer all questions about Zoho. Until the next video, have a great day.